Hey TPT sellers, in this episode, I'm going to show you the best way to do TPT keyword research. This is seriously the best way. If you can think of a better way out there that's either paid or free, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think is better. Now this tool is free until the end of the month. I just go to TPT and type TPT seller. There I am at the top, Mike Fichigami TPT seller tips. If I scroll down, it's TPT seller tip number 10, this TPT SEO keyword ranking tool. I would stop the video right now. I would download a copy of this tool because at any point TPT can shut down the product. And I'll talk more about that later. So I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna open up the file and there's a link here to get your own copy of this Google Sheet tool. So it's gonna ask me to make a copy of this document. Now there are a couple of things you need to know before you use the tool. You have to decide if this tool is right for you. Specifically, check the section that's called don't interfere with our services in the guideline for all TPTers. If I hover over the link and then click on the guidelines, here are the guidelines. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, it says, don't interfere with our services. Don't attempt to gain unauthorized access to our computer systems or engage in any activity that disrupts, diminishes the quality, interferes with the performance or impairs the functionality of our services. Don't use any automated means such as bots, spiders, or crawlers to download or otherwise obtain data from our services. So personally, I don't think my use of this Google Sheet tool interferes with their services, but we are using an automated means to get data from the website. Now, to put this in context, Google uses automated means to get access to TPT's results to post them in their search engine. Every TPT keyword tool out there has to use an automated way to get data from the TPT search result pages. That doesn't mean that it's against the terms of service. Maybe they have special permission from TPT, but ultimately you as a TPT seller need to decide if this tool is right for you. The Google Sheet tool that I'm gonna show you today has a built-in rate limiting factor. So it prevents you from crawling the TPT search engine result pages too quickly. That's why I don't think we're interfering with the service. But it doesn't matter what I think. And to be honest, it doesn't matter what you think. What matters is what TPT thinks. And that's why I've posted this resource on TPT because then TPT can see the exact code that I'm using. And at any point in time, TPT can stop this resource. They can take down the product. They can change the code on their website to specifically block Google Sheets. In the past, I have contacted TPT support about can I do this or can I do that? And then their first line of response is, hey, here are our terms of service, check it out. And then when you dig a little deeper, they reply and say, we can't pre-authorize things. So now we're gonna find out what TPT thinks. Personally, I think this is an important tool for TPT sellers to be able to do to help us improve our products. So if sales on the TPT platform are down, help the TPT sellers who are active find those keyword opportunities to reach teachers with our great products. This is a perfect example. You might have the best resource in your niche on TPT, but if people don't know about it, then no one's gonna buy it or download it. I know from chatting with TPT sellers that they think this keyword tool is incredible and they think I'm not charging enough. It only has 74 downloads right now. So as TPT sellers, part of the game is figuring out how to get eyeballs onto our product. One way is through TPT search, which is where this keyword ranking tool helps. And then the other way is by building a community and building a brand and bringing eyeballs from other places to your TPT product. I'm gonna show you why this Google Sheet tool is the best way to do keyword research, but there are no guarantees that this Google Sheet tool will work forever. But that's true for any third-party TPT keyword tool. There's going to be huge demand for this because unlike other keyword tools, this is unlimited. You can search as many keywords as you want to. You're not limited to a certain number of keywords per month. And unlike other third-party TPT keyword tools that show you keyword results from their database, this Google Sheet directly looks at the results on the TPT website. At, so you're not looking at delayed results, you're looking at results in real time. You actually have to click on this yellow button that says allow access because otherwise the formulas can't access the internet. And if you're ever curious to see what the formulas look like, just click on this tab at the bottom search engine result page. And up here, I can see the formula. It says import XML. So there are 10 formulas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
because that loads the first 10 pages of the TPT search result. The 11th formula reloads the first page to pull up the number of competitors. So the magic doesn't happen until you click allow access. Now, when you download the resource, the PDF explains how to use it. There's also a video that you can watch that walks you through how to use the resource. And the rest of this document has everything I know about TPT SEO keywords and TPT SEO right now as of April 2024. Because the TPT search formula is constantly changing. And if your sales are down, this keyword tool can help you try to figure out why that might be. Maybe you're dropping in keyword ranking. So at the bottom, I'm going to click on this tab that says keyword ranking. Today, I want to see where my EduCircles resources show up for reading comprehension. So in the keyword, I'm going to type reading comprehension. Now, at the top, it says some formulas are trying to send and receive data. I have to click on allow access in order for this Google Sheet to load up the TPT search result pages. So I'm going to click on allow access right now. And the red part here is just showing that it's loading up the pages. And then boom. They're now green and it shows it's loaded 24 pages per result. Now my store name is not Fuchigami. My store name is EduCircle. So let's type that. And what it's doing is it's looking for my store name EduCircles in the store results here. And as you can see here, I don't show up at all. And that's probably because I'm searching for all grades. If I click on this page one, at the top here, if I just look to see what the search engine result page, I can see 600,000 results and I can see here 600,000 results. This first page is crazy competitive. So sometimes to get a sense of the competition of a keyword, we'll look to see how many results there are. We'll look to see how many reviews there are on the front page. So there's 1.8 thousand reviews. And if I look in the Google sheet, it says 1,800 reviews in the top result. If I go to the bottom here, the last result has 761 reviews. And I see that here in the Google sheet, 761 reviews. So we could do that manually. I can look at the top result and the bottom result. And that's what I used to do. But this Google sheet also averages how many reviews the products, those 24 products on the first page have. Well, I can see here, I probably need around 3000 reviews to get onto this first page if I was trying to rank for all grades, but I'm not. So I'm gonna change this from all grades to eighth grade. And it turns red because it's now getting the live data. It turned green because it's loaded the data. And I can see now that an EduCircles resource showed up here on page four at the bottom. Technically it's in rank 89, but my products will go up and down due to fluctuations because other products are coming and going. So I'm not really looking at the exact rank. I'm trying to get a sense of, am I at the top of the page, the middle of the page or the bottom of the page? If I want to verify the result, I just hover over page four and I click on this link. I'm scrolling down to see if I can find edgy circles. Oh, there I am, edgy circles. I see it right here. I can see in the search results, TPT is highlighting reading comprehensions because of the way that's coded. When Google Sheets loads that information, there are no spaces between the keywords. That's why it says reading comprehension is bunched together in one single word. But in the real product and in the real search results, there still is a space. Now it says here, I'm on page four in the bottom. If I scroll down, so the stuff here in green shows all of the search results that TPT shows for the first 10 pages of their results. And I should be on page four at the bottom. And if I scroll down, I can see here I am page four and I'm highlighted in blue. And the light gray highlights are the top of every page. So very quickly, I can get a sense of who my competitors are and I can see how many reviews they have for that resource. Now, let's say I want to look up reading comprehension strategy. The longer the keyword phrase is, the less competition there is for that word, but the less search volume there is for that word as well. So I'm going to click in the yellow reading comprehension strategies. If I hit enter, it's loading up in red and I can see I have a bunch of resources with reading comprehension strategies in there. I actually have more than five, but the Google sheet only shows the top five by default. Right beside this row 12, there's a plus sign. And if I click on that, that'll expand and show you some more results. You'll be able to see up to 90 results there. And then I just click on the minus sign beside 12 just to hide that as well. So for reading comprehension strategies, I can show up on page one at the top. And if I want to see what that looks like, if I click on this, here's reading comprehension strategies. And if I scroll down, that's position one, position two, position three, and there I am position four. Now, interesting, even though I'm searching for reading comprehension strategies, 
plural, TPT is highlighting the word strategy, singular. So this is where we get to start to tinker and learn about how the algorithm might be working. I see sometimes that the singular version of the word and the plural version of the word are TPT SEO ranking factors, but this isn't always the case. Now, the goal of this tool is to make TPT seller tools affordable and accessible. Really, I wish TPT would create better TPT seller tools for everyone. So we don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to access this information because the average teacher who's just getting in the game and has a great teaching resource to sell is not going to spend hundreds of dollars. They just don't have proof of concept. Now, some of you are going to want to track where your results are. And if I click at the bottom here, I have a tracking page that's under construction. For those of you who've been around the channel for a while, you know my goal is to publish at 80% perfect. That's good enough. So this is a feature that I'm gonna be working on in future updates. But the way to use it, there are some instructions here, but I'll show you how to use it. If I go to my keyword ranking page, I show up for reading comprehension strategies. I'm going to right click the row. I'm going to select copy. I'm going to go to the tracking page. I'm going to right click the row as well. And this time I'm going to go to paste special and values only. And now I can see here's my keyword reading comprehension strategy for grade eight. I'm on page one at the top at rank number four. I can't remember what my rank was for reading comprehension. So I might just change the keyword back to reading comprehension. If I hit enter, all right, so I'm gonna right click the row. I'm gonna click on copy. I'm gonna go to the tracking page. In the next empty row, I'm going to right click the row number. I have to select paste special and values. If I wanna make these columns a little wider, if I hover over between column B and C, my mouse will change from the pointer to something else. And if I just click and drag it open, I can see what the keyword is here. So reading comprehension strategies is a longer tail keyword. I'm in position four, but reading comprehension, I'm in position 89. Google Sheets limits how quickly the formulas can access the internet. You can see here, I'm looking up reading comprehension and some of the pages they're showing up in green, but other pages are showing up in red and it says error, loading data may take a while. That's why I don't think I'm interfering with TPT services, but I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. You're gonna have to come up with your own determination and decide whether this tool is right for you to use. Now, when the results do start to slow down, no problem, just come back in an hour, go work on something else and the results will eventually load. Now, I might get ideas like reading comprehension passage. So maybe I'll look up that reading comprehension passage passages. The results are showing up in red here. You can see now they're starting to load a little bit slower and they don't all load at the same time. If you go work on your product covers and then come back, you might notice that the results have changed. And that's because the formulas check the internet every now and then. I think maybe it's once an hour. Someone emailed me, is there a way to change the grade level back to all grades? That's a great idea. If you have any suggestions about what would make this keyword tool even better, just email me, mike at a freesellertool.com and I'm happy to consider it for the next update. Now, if you've been selling on TPT for a while, you know that sometimes we come up with great stuff in the classroom, but then we have to package it and polish it up before we can sell it on TPT. And it's kind of like that with this keyword tool. So I actually have added the feature to go back to all grades. I just haven't had a chance to update the product yet. The next major update will probably come in a month. And by that time, I'm hoping that we can also filter the Google Sheet results, maybe by subject, by price range, who knows? But for those of you who want a sneak peek, if you're part of the SEOTpreneur Pro community, just go to data tools and it says here sneak peek. And if I click on this, I'll make a copy of this beta version. So it's not the same version that I'm selling on TPT. And that's important because you can't sell the same resource for less than what you sell it for on TPT. But this isn't the same resource. It's got enhancements and features that I'm still trying out and testing out. So if I make a copy of this beta sneak peek, here I am. If I allow access to the internet, I can see that my TPT seller tips and tricks bundle is on page two at the top. If I change the grade from all to, I don't know, grade eight, I see the results are loading in red. Now I won't show up for grade eight because I've set it for not grade specific. I might need to change that actually. But now in this beta sneak peek version, if I click on this down button, I can change it back to all. So I've updated that feature. I just have to test it, make sure it's great before I publish it on TPT. Let me know in the comments what you think about this TPT keyword research tool. I think it's the best TPT keyword tool out there right now. 
because you have unlimited keywords. You don't have 10 a month that you can look up and you can verify the results just by clicking on the search page. You're getting live data from TPT search. And until TPT search provides this information to us in the TPT seller dashboard, this is, I think, the next best thing. It's free right now until the end of the month. And then I'm gonna charge $120 for this resource because $10 a month seems to be the going rate for this kind of tool. And an annual plan is 12 months. So 12 times 10 is 120 bucks. But don't spend 120 bucks for this tool. If you don't get it right now while it's free, it's included in the ultimate bundle. I'm gonna put all of my TPT seller tips and tricks that I publish on this second TPT store. I'm gonna put it in the growing bundle. Some of you got it for three bucks and I'm totally Totally happy that you got a great deal. For those of you who are watching the video right now and you don't have it, go grab it right now. It's six bucks. Once the keyword tool becomes a paid resource, the price of this bundle is going to jump up to 10 bucks. Think how much other people are charging for TPT SEO courses. This is the good stuff. Caitlin left a comment on another YouTube video. She said, this 10 minute free video is way more valuable than the $500 TPT SEO course that she wasted time and money on. My goal is to provide so much value that you become raving fans, that you tell all your friends about this stuff, because this is good stuff. And the keyword tool right now is free. So tell your TPT friends, get it while you can, use it while you can, because we never know when TPT will block this. And now is the time for us to learn about how our products are actually doing on TPT search. If you learned something new in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you know of a better way to do TPT keyword research.